E-ink technology seems to be everywhere. There's e-ink thermometers, GPS trackers, smart home remotes, typewriters, watches, signage, bus schedules, tablets, monitors, and of course, e-readers. Wow, that's a lot. So what would you say if we told you that you can have e-ink credit cards? Well, cards, that is. You would probably say, no way, but you've already read the title of this video and seen the display picture. So the answer is yes, you can have e-ink cards. Here they are. These are e-ink cards that are used for access purposes by interactive cards. As you open up the box, you see that there is a regular card with a little copper contact point that allows transmission in various POS machines and access machines. On the bottom right corner, you have a little circle with a triangle pointing at a little screen. We'll get to that in one second. Just flipping over to the back, you see some coding at the back left corner. Now, this is a traditional card, and it does have the same thickness and overall dimensions as any regular credit card. Now, before we press the button, because that's really the entire video in its entirety, what do these cards do and what are they for? Well, primarily, they are for access control. They're for focused on providing security, physical like entering a building or a room, and logical like logging into a private network. Now obviously looking at this, the first thing we asked in the studio is, how do you replace the battery? Well, you can't. Does it have wireless charging? Well, no. But E-Ink did tell us that if you were to use this three times a day, the card will last approximately three years. So between zero days and three years, this card is set to last based on how many times you push the little button. Which countries are these sold in so far? Well, they are being sold in the States to various firms, security firms, logistical firms, etc. And they're actually sold internationally as well. And we are in talks with E-Ink and Interactive Cards to see if we can sell these as well. After asking our last question, which was any additional information you'd like to share, they said they do have another version of this card with a two-factor authentication. The cards can be utilized with a biometric fingerprint pad, which is also called the converged credential cards. Now this particular one is the interactive card set for just going into rooms and whatnot, so it doesn't have that. Now for the only physical thing we can do in the Goody Reader Studios with this unit slash device slash card is pressing this little button and here we go. That is it. So this has just some arbitrary set of numbers here, but this can refer to numerous amount of things. Uh, Two-step authentication, the access card corresponding to the door you're going to go into, it can be changed of course, etc. As you see, I pressed it once, if you press it again it goes away, so you do diminish the use of the card by doing that, because the amount of times you can use it, as we said during the video, is upwards of three times per day for a total of three years. Now that is it. We just wanted to touch base with E-Ink and cover this because this is a very interesting piece of technology. This can potentially be used for gift cards to show balances, credit cards to update expiration dates, and a wide variety of applications. Because e-ink is so inherently good on the eyes, long lasting and very thin, it can be applied to nearly anything in the world, all the way down to things we carry in our wallet. If you want more information on this, keep following Good E-Reader on Facebook, on Twitter, and on YouTube, of course, or head over to our news publication at goodyreader.com blog. And if you wanna grab these, we will potentially be selling them on our store, so head over there if you want to see if they're available. For goodyreader.com and a full review of the e-ink card by Interactive Cards, this is Peter.